Michael, our first time call out of Texas. Welcome to the show, Michael. Hello, Jesse. How are you? All is well. How you doing, Michael? Um, I'm doing better. I'm doing. What's wrong? Uh, just, um, I don't know. I've been listening to the show for like six months, and I've been always been going through things with my wife. And um, we've been together for eight years, and I feel like, um, you know, I just heard you say that you should never try to satisfy a woman. No. Um, why is that? Because it's a weakness, and she sees it as a weakness, and she, you, she will pretend to never be satisfied to control you even more so and make you lick boots. And then she'll so hate how, you for that weakness. So how do you think we could find balance if we don't try to— do you think women should try to satisfy her husband? Yes, because she's subject to the man. The man is subject to God. So she's supposed to satisfy her husband. But a man should never please a woman because, uh, try to please a woman because you can't comp- please her. Women have big egos, and they, in that fallen state, they try to control everything to make themselves feel better. So they try to control the husband, the children, the cat, the dog, the paint on the house and everything else because they're looking for a, they're looking for love. They're looking for the love of a father and they're not getting it from the men. They're, they didn't get it from their fathers when they were growing up because the mother turned them away from their fathers. So they're really looking for the love of a father. They're not looking to some man to try to please them. You can never please a woman. They don't know what they want. Well, I agree with that. Uh, my wife says that, you know, her dad, uh, I guess, treated her like crap growing up. And he and she, probably uh, did not treat her that way. She was acting like her mother because she became like her mother. And she probably mm-hmm. treated treated him that way. And he responded negatively to it. He didn't know how to handle it. So do you think love can blind men from the truth? I mean, how long should you uh, pursue something if you don't see progress? Well, first of all, stop trying to please your woman and do the right thing. You need to be right and do right. And then she will come along, follow you. And if she doesn't follow you and go a different way, it would never meant to be. Let her go. So I, I try to do right. Um, she likes to stay inside, watch TV all day. Um, and I guess that's her form of bonding. And I just, you know, I've done that for her. That's not bonding. Uh, that's laziness. Right. So I try to, you know, I try to get active and go out and it doesn't seem like she really wants to do that with me. She likes to, she's got a sister that lives in our town, the only family that's here. And most of the time when she wants to go out, it's to her sister's house. And I doesn't, I don't feel like it's quality time between us. Like there always has to be somebody uh, in between. How old are you? Is your wife older than you? Yes, she is. She's uh, two years older than me. She's does 32. She, I am 30. Does she already have children? Yes, she does. She had children uh, before we got together. Why in the world did you marry this woman? No wonder you catch in hell. Um, I've been catching hell my whole life, Jesse. <laughs> but why did I you didn't. marry this woman? Um, just because I felt like she was the only one that really understood me and the things that I've gone through in life that, at the time. And I felt that we could grow together. Beta male. uh, Flourish. (laughs) Beta male. You're getting what you deserve. Number one, you should have never married an older woman. Number two, never marry a woman with children. Number three, a a woman cannot understand you. It's not in her to understand you. It's in you to bring her out of the hell she's in and bring her into your world. Whenever you go into a woman's world, it's hell. You will suffer. You should bring the woman into your world, which is heaven, and then you will, she will have life. And so you should overcome your mother and, and uh, return to your father so you can become right. And then you'll be able to do right, and life will be fine for you. I don't know what's going to happen with this woman because she hates you for your weakness. You got with her due to weakness, and she has control over you, and it's making her sick. Um, well, she one hate, last question. She hate being around you and everything. Uh, have you gone and forgiven your mother for what she did um, to you? I have, but my mother, I don't think, has forgiven herself. She doesn't need and to. That's not your issue. 
Let your mother suffer and die. That's not your problem. Well, she is dying. She just wrote me uh, actually uh, two days ago and let me know that she's dying, and she wants to leave me money, but I don't want her money. Um, well, and listen, man, forgive your mother for what she go to her and say, look, I'm sorry for resenting you for the way you, you know, you screwed me up. I become like you, and now I'm subject to women. I realize now you can't help yourself. And forgive her and then take the money she's giving you. Why you don't want the money? I don't, uh, because she's had money since I was a kid, since she had got with her new husband, and I don't feel like she, she used to go out on trips all the time, and leaving me and my sister at home, and I don't feel like, you know, the money was ever used in a good way to... Well, that's her problem, man. ...the family she had, and... That's her problem. You take you take the money and use the money for the good. You use it in the right way. That's silly not to take the gift that she's giving you, but you're doing it because you've been traumatized by her. Where's your father? My father is. um, He disappeared when I was about ten years old, and then uh, I actually had got locked up in Florida, Jesse when I was living there, and he, I don't know how he found me, he showed up, he bonded me out of jail. Uh, um, and then uh, I lived with him for like 30 days, but I, I I told him, you know, that I forgave him, and as a man, and I'm fine with that, I, I believe we gave each other a peace, and we're, we're distant now. Michael, so. go and forgive your mother for what, don't ask her to forgive you, you forgive her for the way she treated you growing up. She could not help herself. She's an angry woman and she can't help it. Okay. And she doesn't have, she doesn't have any love to give. If she had had love, women don't have love to give. Women receive love. And so she never had the love to give you. Okay. Uh, One final question. And now you're married to your mama. (laughs) Right. So do you think, um, do you think as long as you are suffering, I guess I would say for righteousness, that it's a righteous hell. I mean, I don't know. You're like, not suffering you know for, I mean? right now, you are not suffering for righteousness. You're suffering for hell's sake. Well, what about my kids that I have with my wife? Um, I thought she already, so she had kids with someone else and now she has some for you? Yeah. How many she has for someone else? Uh, three. And how many does she have for you? And so was she married before? No. Okay. So, so you married some woman who had three kids out of wedlock? Yes, sir. Beta male! <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I recommend, Michael. Uh, go forgive your mother so that God, and, and, and forgive your father for not being able to protect you from your mother. And God will forgive you, and he will show you the right way to go. Seek first the kingdom of God and his right way, and he will show you how to overcome this situation you're in. I don't know what to tell you about what to do as far as the situation itself, but I do know the source that will help you overcome it in the right way. I appreciate your words, Jesse. And do my side, are you doing my silent prayer dot video? I actually have not come across that. We'll go on my YouTube channel. There's a silent. Apparently, there's two on there, but they're different. One is mm-hmm. silentprayer.video. That's the one I recommend you do. And okay. and uh, and go and forgive your mother if she start crying or whatever. That's on her. If she doesn't admit she's wrong, that's on her. You forgive her. I forgive you for what you've done. I realize you can't help her. And God will forgive you. Then you will see how to deal with your mama that you're married to in the right way. Okay. I appreciate you, Jesse. I'll, I'll definitely check out that video. Okay. And, and, and just realize whatever situation you're in right now, it was your fault for getting into that situation. Don't blame the woman you're married to because she can't help herself either. And she saw a weak man like you and she took advantage of you, but she couldn't help it. But it's your fault that you allowed that to happen. So accept that without blaming her and, and you'll be fine. It'll work out. One, and if she leaves, that's better. If she stays, that's better. But whatever God does in this situation, it's going to work out for you. 
All righty, Jesse, I appreciate you. You have a, a finish the show good, all right? All right, Michael, let me know how it goes. Absolutely. All right, buddy. Amazing.